We have a small office and have been using a lot of hypochlorous acid to disinfect our office surfaces, doorknobs, countertops, chairs, and in our cold fogger machine. We like using hypochlorous acid since it is a hospital grade disinfectant EPA registered to kill the human coronavirus, E. coli, MRSA, staph, and norovirus. It's also a non-toxic solution. Its only drawback is that it does cost $45 per gallon and we have been going through it about one gallon per week. Therefore, I decided to buy a machine to make it for pennies per gallon. This brand doesn't need any expensive capsules to make it. All you need is tap water, kosher salt, and distilled vinegar. We purchased the Ecolox Eco One water system and I did opt to purchase the test strips in addition to the unit. This product comes with this container to make it in, test strips to confirm the pH, and chlorine test strips. It also comes with potassium carbonate, so you can use this to also make a degreaser as well as for cleaning kitchens and even a measuring spoon for the kosher salt. The handle has a button for the settings right here. If you press it once to turn it on, it'll run for three minutes to generate 40 parts per million solution. If you press this twice, it'll run for five minutes to generate 60 parts per million solution. If you press it three times, it'll run for eight minutes to generate 100 parts per million solution. And if you run it the eight minute cycle twice, it'll generate 200 parts per million solution, which is what we use to disinfect and kill the coronavirus with. Okay, let's make a batch. First, we pour one liter of tap water into this container. Then you're going to add two grams of kosher salt. This is the measuring spoon that is included in the kit. Then you're going to add a teaspoon of vinegar. Then you're gonna push the button down three times. And in eight minutes, you will have 100 parts per million hypochlorous acid. Run this cycle again, and in 16 minutes total, you will get 200 parts per million solution. They do advertise on their website you get it in eight minutes, but upon reading the instructions, you will have to run two cycles to get the 200 parts per million concentration. If you want an even higher concentration of hypochlorous acid, you just run it additional cycles to raise the concentration 80 parts per million each time. It's pretty quiet. Okay, so the first cycle is done. I did want to point out a couple things. First of all, there is a little notation right here, a little line that shows you where the one liter mark is. So you, if you don't have a measuring cup with exactly one liter, it is noted right here on the container. Um, it started out really cloudy, and as the cycle went through, it started bubbling, and now it's a clear liquid solution. Now, that the first cycle is completed, I'm going to push the button again three times to run it another eight minutes to yield the 200 parts per million solution. You can see it bubbling more on this time around. Now the process is completed, and let's test the solution using the test strips. They do charge extra for these test strips. 
In the future, I will probably buy more on Amazon. Theirs comes in this container. Like this. These are the chlorine ones and these are the pH ones. They do come wrapped in foil, so you do need to unwrap it, then put it back in the case and it's unwrapped. Let's start by checking the pH, which is this one. It's a different colored strip, okay? So you just tear it off. And here's the key. You want it to be between five and seven. So yellow to light green, and it's looking like it is six, which is perfect. It's the light green color. Now we're gonna do the chlorine one. This tells you how many parts per million is in the solution. We are shooting for 200, so it should be black. And it's very much black, it's 200. The capacity of this is for one liter. So if you wanna generate a gallon, you do have to do about four batches. I'll probably run this process while I'm watching TV. If you like what you've seen, please click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.